Don't forget to press the subscribe button and click the bell icon to stay up to date with all our videos. Okay, so first of all, let's do one thing. I have the server up and running on localhost 3000. And let's remove some things which we don't really need. So for example, app.test we don't need at this point service worker, setup test, logo, all these things are something that we don't need. I'll even remove the index CSS, so let's just delete it. Okay, you will have to also delete them from the imports. Also, there is some import like logo at this stage, which you might have to remove. You will have to remove. Okay, so which I've already done. So as you can see on the screen at this point, it's just blank. And there was one thing what I needed to change was the body. I had to set up the body with margin of zero just to get rid of the space. So now what we can do is, this is based on people's demand that people required or needed us to build using React Bootstrap. So we will be using React Bootstrap as a CSS library in this project. So first of all, let me install React Bootstrap. So I'll have to install both React Bootstrap and Bootstrap because that's a dependency. So as you can see, there's something different in my terminal. I customized it a little bit. So it's, it's my favorite thing, football, taco, and pizza. All right, so what we have here is we will have to install it. So yarn install is deprecated. We are supposed to use add. And by this time, by the time this works, let's just look at the components which we might have to use. So first of all, thing would be the layout because the outer structure, we will have to have a a uh, page something like this let me show you that okay something like this so on the top it should be a search form on the bottom on the left side it should be a video and on the right side it should be there should be suggestion so we want something like this so for that reason we will be using grid and we can copy and paste the whole thing, but let's see the other components which we might need is, one is the form, which I think should be the one. Let's see where it is. Forms, okay, here it is. And yeah, this will, we will be using it to search. So we can use the big one. There is a form large text. Okay, we'll be using this we might need or i think we will need a button so we'll need this button a simple one to search and we'll use the large button and what else do we need do we need list group to display the suggestions we might use it it's not a bad idea to use it, but let's see if we can find something different. If not, we'll just go with this. We can even introduce the toast. So if you are searching for something and if it doesn't work or something like that, we can just show them a toast. And okay, hey, this uh, is not valid. You can, uh, there's no video found or something like that. So, something like this, with animation, without animation, nice. Okay, we can add this if needed. We'll, we'll see. But let's see what do we need for suggestions. Hmm, I think that it should work. Okay. So we'll just go ahead and use the list group because that's something. Okay, this is a basic one. There should be a one with icons and everything, most probably. 
let's see if we have it or there's always a chance to customize it so we don't really need to worry about it okay no problem so I think it got installed and we can get up and running with our project so let me first of all create component folder and I'll transfer both of these files into component because app is something what we need in component and index will have to save it because the path just got changed and I have this uh, extension which does this on its own so if I move a file or folder into any other folder it is going to give me a suggestion okay it got moved so do you want to save this file it doesn't auto save it but it it changes the path automatically so that's a good thing that's a good feature okay so I have saved this thing and as you can see on the screen right now it is working without any error and we can start adding components here so what I'll do here is I'll copy and paste the whole thing from react bootstrap for the layout so I'll have to do this copy paste I'll have to import container from react bootstrap so let's see how are we going to do that so maybe it should be in get started or something import style sheet okay okay so we will be doing this one mm, yeah less ideally mm, no but I like this one okay so let's do this and button we don't have a button at this point but container <coughs> excuse me container row column I think this is all that we need at this point let's see is it uh, still compiling okay no problem okay did just compile and I don't think it worked let's see the reason maybe it's because of the importing okay so first of all we might have to import this the line should be in index I guess so let's see if this works okay okay nothing happened is it the right thing oh okay see we do have something so this is I think this is working as expected because they are not in the center so if I put in like style border 2px solid red in all of them it should show you that it is working as expected okay two, three okay let's see all right see it is working as, as as a grid so which is great this is working perfect okay so we don't really need a big uh, container so we don't need two containers on the top so what we can do is this will be our search container and the other one will be we need two containers at the bottom one will be for single video the next one will be for suggestions okay so we want this as to occupy like three spaces like not three but at least hmm, I guess one third should be a two third should be enough so let's see how we can do that and layout two third okay this is five. All right, so this is something what we need. So access 
should be 12 extra small like small ones should be 12 but for large ones it should be 12 okay this is 12 which is good even the same thing for the suggestions one but when it's a large one so what I need to do is I want to see it on the left side so mm -hmm, it should be large LG I guess and we can put it as 8 and LG 4 let's see what happens okay this is occupying 8 out of 12 and this is perfect for small sizes it's getting into one line so this is perfect something what we are looking for let's quickly add the form and let's see okay form okay we would like to have a bigger one so this is something that we need large text and the search we will have form so form we will need a button as well so let's quickly get a button okay to the large one so button toolbar is not something that we want i guess i don't know what it does but okay we'll have this button and okay let's see what we have button is not defined that's true button okay it's not gonna be in one line it's gonna be in two lines but we can change it yeah see it's in two lines we will need to do a bit of styling over here so we can do there should be some inbuilt style I guess mm -hmm. form should be some inbuilt padding or something like that so let's go to that guy sizing form group we can use the form group is there a button at this in this form Okay, there's uh, like two things. Okay, we can use the form row, I guess. Yeah, we can use this guy over here. Form row and this form control should be placed here. And button should be placed here. So let's see there should be some editing which we might have to do maybe or maybe not but let's see okay so this one is for search video here and search so it should be on press uh, on click press it in the react native okay so this is looking nice we will just get rid of the red line so it looks nice okay so this is okay this is not bad we will use for the video we will use the iframe i guess and for the suggestions we will use a list group so this is more than enough for this video this was just a starter video so in the next video we will work on the iframe as well as the suggestion we will get them on place and then we'll move forward with the api calls so stay tuned and i'll see you in the next video bye bye take care